After Phil was caught lying, he was immediately judged by everyone. Phil's actions really hurt Carol. Phil explained that he just wanted to make a surprise when he found new people. And he planned to introduce Gail and Erica to Melissa, Carol, and Todd. But no one believed Phil's words. Moreover, Gail said Phil's wife had died. But Phil argued that he did have a wife before Carol, who had the same name. She died in a snow train accident. But no one believed Phil's words until finally everyone there decided to leave Phil alone. After Phil was left behind, he walked through the desert and some streets to return to Tucson. But when he got there, he was not given a chance to explain his intentions and goals for lying to all his friends. Then he went to Carol's house to try to explain what he had done. Wanting to give Phil a chance, Carol let Phil speak. But Carol responded with ghostly language, because she still remembered how Phil said his wife had died. Not wanting to talk with Phil for long, Carol immediately kicked Phil out and considered him back as a stinking nuisance. Feeling dumped, Phil finally chose to go to his favorite bar and decided to stay there with his imaginary friends. He felt that the billiard table felt more comfortable than sleeping on his own bed. The next day, Gail and Erica intended to visit Carol in the hope that she would forget the incident between them and Phil. Erica said she wouldn't do it if she knew Phil was married. But Carol still felt reluctant to accept the food Gail made for her. Moreover, Carol had considered Erica and Gail as seductive women of other people's husbands. Because she was not accepted, finally Gail and Erica decided not to give their food to Carol and decided to keep their distance from her. After Gail and Erica left, Carol was visited by Todd and Melissa who tried to comfort her. But it seems their efforts were not enough to calm Carol's heart, because Carol had known the tactics they would give her. Carol explained that she didn't need pity from them the way Todd and Melissa kept their distance to respect Carol. Then Carol told Todd and Melissa to leave, because she would be fine even alone. In the bar, in his solitude, Phil began to lament the sadness he experienced for being dumped by his friends. Even his friends had no intention of looking for him. Then he had the idea of changing into someone else. Finally, he visited Carol in different clothes and used a different name. He used the name Mike Miller claiming to be Phil Miller's brother. But Phil's efforts turned out to be in vain because without saying anything, Carol immediately closed her door again. The next day, Melissa and Todd played golf with Gail and Erica. We're in the middle of the game. They talked about the lies Phil kept saying to them, including when Phil said his middle name was Cormanio. But it turns out Phil knew it while disguised as a weed. Then he lamented his lie, where initially he didn't admit he was lying. But after thinking about some of the lies he kept saying from the beginning of meeting Carol, finally, he realized that he was a liar. Then he was determined to apologize to all his friends. At night, he gathered them all and asked to listen to his explanation. Initially, Melissa didn't want to listen to Phil's explanation. But after Carol gave a second chance, finally Melissa was willing to listen to Phil's explanation. Starting with an apology for lying, Phil apologized to everyone he had lied to. Starting from Carol, then Melissa, and continued with Gail and Erica. Then he gave a surprising explanation, where he said he actually didn't love Carol. And when he said he was willing to marry her, he only lied for Carol's pleasure. Hearing that, Everyone immediately labeled Phil as the most despicable man in the world. But Phil did not deny that, and then he apologized to everyone. Then Phil left. When Phil left, Carol followed him to the bar that was Phil's favorite place. There Carol brought a book that would be a witness to their divorce. But Carol wanted them to remain friends even though they were separated. After Phil signed the book, now Carol and Phil had officially divorced and Phil was allowed to do whatever he wanted. Then Carol bid farewell to Phil and she would wait for Phil to return home. After Phil and Carol officially divorced, they announced the news to everyone. And they decided to celebrate the divorce joyfully. Where Carol asked Gail to play musical instruments so they could dance. The day after the divorce, Phil was suddenly approached by Gail who began to show interest in him. At first, Phil pretended to be innocent and didn't know what Gail wanted from him. But after Gail gave hints, Phil finally understood Gail's intentions. When Gail was about to show it, Suddenly Carol came to Phil's residence, which ultimately Gail decided to return to Phil at 3 p.m. With enthusiasm, Phil prepared for the date. Then the scene shifted to Todd, who made a piece of pancake for Melissa to show his seriousness. Todd explained that initially, his life was dark and empty. But when he met Melissa, Melissa came and immediately brought light to his life. Then Todd declared his love for Melissa, hoping Melissa would say the opposite. Todd got a painful response when Melissa only said thank you to Todd. Back to Phil who visited Erica with the excuse of wanting to get milk from the cow at Carol's residence. 
But apparently Phil got a windfall when Erica suddenly invited him to go hiking. Phil immediately accepted it, but Phil said he had a commitment at 3 and would go hiking with Erica at 5. Finally, Erica agreed and she would wait for Phil at 5 p.m., not wanting to waste the opportunity with Gail and Erica. He tried to muster the courage to jump, but the reality was he never dared and instead screamed for help hoping one of his companions could find him. At Phil's residence, Gail was ready with a very fitting dress for her to wear. But as she waited for hours, Phil never showed up and Gail even fell asleep before Erica woke her up. When Erica woke her up, Gail said Phil wouldn't come. Because Phil hadn't shown up, Erica and Gail decided to report to Carol about Phil's disappearance. Carol suspected Phil might have died, so she asked Melissa and Todd to try to find Phil. But when they were going to search for Phil, they suddenly saw a truck coming towards them. Initially, Melissa thought it was Phil, but Carol said it wasn't Phil's truck. Finally, when the truck stopped, a man appeared carrying Phil unconscious. After that, they made a bonfire to warm Phil up and welcome the new person. After the new person sat down, he was asked several questions including his name. The new person said his real name was Phil Miller, which surprised everyone, but everyone chose to call the new Phil Miller as the original Phil and asked about Phil's middle name. Phil answered that his middle name was Tandy. When hearing that name, everyone agreed to change the original Phil's name to Tandy and call the new person as the original Phil Miller. After Phil introduced himself, Todd immediately tried to secure the atmosphere, where he introduced himself and Melissa as his girlfriend. The night grew late. They decided to rest. While Tandy instead went to Gail to apologize and demand the promise of a date they would have. But Gail apologized to Tandy because she couldn't do that. Then Gail closed her door. And when Tandy looked at the window, he saw the new Phil laughing with Gail and Erica. Not willing to change his name, the next day Tandy gathered everyone again and introduced himself as the President of the United States with the authority to rule. But apparently that didn't work because everyone disagreed with Tandy's idea. Finally, to determine who was entitled to use the name Phil, new Phil and Tandy decided to compete in playing Stacko. The first person to drop the Stacko stack would lose. New Phil played very well, while Tandy played with arrogance which caused him to destroy the Stacko stack, and had to admit that the new Phil officially used his name, while he had officially changed his name to Tandy. At night, Tandy intended to visit Carol to talk about something. But when Phil visited her residence, he had seen Carol's house had a new door and saw Carol wearing a beautiful dress. Then Tandy asked what Carol would do. Carol replied that she just wanted to wear that dress. Then Carol said goodbye while bringing food that Tandy suspected would be given to the new Phil. Since Phil hadn't found a new home for himself, Gail and Erica offered Phil to stay with them. But because Phil had built a shed for the cows that had come out of his house, Carol suddenly invited Phil to stay at her house, which made the competition even tighter. Initially, Phil agreed to stay with Carol, but Tandy didn't want that to happen and he eventually invited Phil to stay with him as bachelor roommates so they could create a bachelor party together. Feeling uneasy, Phil finally decided to stay with Tandy. Then the scene shifted to Todd who was walking around, where he saw a garbage truck driven by Phil. Phil stopped briefly to greet Todd, after he greeted. Phil drove his garbage truck again. And what surprised Todd was when he saw Melissa riding the garbage truck with Phil. Seeing Melissa having a good time with Phil made Todd hate the new person even more. After seeing the incident, the next day, Todd immediately met Melissa to forbid her from meeting Phil, if she wanted their relationship to continue, but Melissa was uncomfortable with what Todd was saying to her. Until finally, if Melissa didn't want to follow his words, then Todd decided to end their relationship. Hoping Melissa would refuse, Melissa instead agreed to it, and she immediately closed her door tightly. Phil increasingly attracted the attention of every woman, where Carol suddenly gave him a scarf she knitted just for Phil. Then there was Gail who gave Phil food she made herself. At night, they did their usual habit of gathering around the campfire, where Phil said they had to move from Tucson because he thought Tucson wasn't good enough to be a place for humans to survive. But that was immediately rejected by Tandy who said Tucson was his hometown which was very suitable to be a new place to live. But Phil immediately asked about the plantations, water, and livestock they could get if they moved from Tucson. And that was agreed upon by the women. Because they didn't want everyone to move, finally, Tandy said he had a farm that he created himself. Interested in Tandy's words, Phil demanded Tandy's promise to show his farm. But Tandy said he couldn't show it tonight, but he promised to show his farm in the morning. 
After the event was over, Tandy quickly searched for land and started working on the plantation and livestock to show that he could create a new civilization for humans. Meanwhile, Phil was relaxing with Carol. The next morning after Tandy finished working the land he would use as a plantation, he was suddenly approached by Todd who informed that Phil had been involved with all the women. This was further reinforced when Tandy saw Melissa wearing a new bathing suit just coming down with Phil. Then Phil suddenly demanded Tandy's promise to show his plantation. Without much talk, Tandy immediately took Phil to his plantation, where he actually planted some jalapeno seeds. Finally, because Tandy could fulfill the promise he made, Phil apologized for everything that caused turmoil. Then he asked Tandy to make amends, and Tandy accepted that apology. But that friendship was shattered when at night where Phil visited Carol and they held a very grand event. Even toasting to Carol the lucky woman, Carol's screams were heard by Tandy, Melissa who was reading a book and Todd who was resigned to the situation. Then Tandy approached Todd who was daydreaming and Tandy immediately had the idea to kill Phil. And it seemed to be agreed upon by Todd who was starting to worry about the presence of the new Phil Miller. After planning the murder of new Phil Miller, Todd and Tandy started monitoring Phil's movements as he tried to assemble a solar panel so they could enjoy electricity again. When Tandy was about to kill Phil by leaving him in the desert, Todd suddenly changed his mind and said that killing was the hardest thing for him to do. Then Todd suddenly remembered when Tandy left him in the desert, and that further strengthened Todd's suspicion that Tandy really wanted to kill Phil. Because he didn't want to be involved, Todd finally withdrew from the plan and left Tandy alone. Since Tandy didn't have a partner, he returned home. And there he found Phil packing his things. Because he was leaving Tandy's place, Phil said he should find a new place to live because he knew Tandy hated him. He also talked about women like Carol who he thought were very special. Hearing Phil's explanation about Carol's personality, Tandy began to reconsider trying to charm Carol again, where after he discussed with his imaginary friend. Tandy decided to approach Carol while carrying a bouquet of flowers and some jewelry he took from the jewelry store. But when Carol accepted it, she said what Tandy gave didn't mean anything anymore. And soon, Phil suddenly came from behind and hugged Carol. Seeing Phil's presence made Tandy think again. He took back his jewelry and left Carol's house. At night, they held a bonfire party to announce Phil's latest invention, where Phil explained that he had successfully created a solar panel that would likely generate electricity. And it was highly appreciated by Erica who could finally turn on the AC again, Gail who could cook again using the electric stove, and Carol who could finally turn on the lights. Then Phil demonstrated his invention, although he explained that the resources he created were limited. But his invention was highly appreciated by everyone except Tandy who suddenly dropped Phil's homemade lamp. And that made Phil very angry. Then he approached Tandy and said Tandy should leave Tucson. Tandy's suffering was further aggravated by Todd who provided facts that Tandy planned to kill Phil by leaving him in the desert, where he had tried to do that to Todd. Because Tandy's behavior was out of bounds, Phil finally said Tandy should leave. Unwilling to be evicted from his own home, the place where he grew up and his parents were buried, Tandy locked himself up for three days which made him really lonely, without food, and without friends. During his isolation, Tandy only ate tissues and a toothpaste from his stock. Because Carol still worried about Tandy, Carol finally visited him and invited Tandy to go out together. But Tandy said he was fine and didn't want to be friends with anyone anymore. Because he couldn't be disturbed, Carol finally surrendered. But if Tandy changed his mind, then everyone would accept Tandy back at the bonfire party because Gail was playing her accordion to welcome Tandy's return. Hearing that invitation, Tandy enthusiastically went out, and sure enough, everyone immediately welcomed Tandy's return. But it seemed that didn't last long, because suddenly Phil came and immediately tackled Tandy until he passed out. When Tandy regained consciousness, he suddenly found himself in a truck with his hands, mouth, and legs tied. Then shortly after, Tandy was dropped in a strange area where Phil gave Tandy some supplies for him to guard himself when Tandy tried to find another area. And without much talk, Phil left Tandy. Because there was no other choice, finally Tandy tried to survive. He planned to go to the Nogales area to get a car and return to the camp. But 20 minutes later, Tandy's supplies were completely depleted and caused Tandy to be truly stranded for three days. After three days of being stranded, Tandy suddenly saw his beloved friend, the basketball he named Gary, in front of him. He immediately hugged Gary, which turned out to be brought by Carol. Carol brought Tandy supplies for himself for three days. Seeing Carol's concern made Tandy very grateful to her. 
When Carol was about to leave, she suddenly asked about the song Tandy created for her. Tandy nodded indicating he really created a song for Carol. Then he sang the song and it made Carol change her mind. She suddenly invited Tandy to find another place because she couldn't live with someone who really let a man die in the desert. Namely Phil and choose to be with a man who couldn't leave a dead man in a desert. Namely Tandy. Finally, the two of them planned to find a new place to live, far from their old settlements. And the last scene in this season shows an astronaut trying to communicate with other humans. Because now he is stuck in space, looking towards the Earth and hoping there are still other humans besides him who are alive. This is the end of The Last Man on Earth Part 4. Like, comment, and subscribe so I will soon make a recap of Part 5 for The Last Man on Earth. Thank you for watching.